write these as a fraction. Um, let's see. Christine, what did you get for the first one? Uh, one tenth. One tenth. Okay. And what did you get for this one, Emil? Three hundredths. Three hundredths. And what did you get for this one, Nicholas? Forty hundredths. Forty hundredths. Did anybody get anything different for this one? Sean, what did you get? Four tenths. Four tenths. Okay, so who's wrong? Those are not the same fraction. Who's wrong? Ebony? Neither. Neither. Why are neither wrong? They're different fractions. Four tenths is simplified as four. Forty hundredths is simplified to four tenths. Okay, so you can simplify forty hundredths to four tenths. Is this in simplest form? No. no. Who can tell me the simplest form of this? Okay, what is it? You guys are awesome. All right, we're doing 9-6 today. Go ahead and turn to that. The fourth grade classes are painting designs on the squares to make a mural. Miss Kirk's class painted three-tenths of the mural. Mr. Becker's class painted 21 hundredths of the mural. What part of the mural is painted? Okay. Now we know how to add fractions, don't we? Yes. yes. When the parts are the same size. Looking at the fraction in this question, are the parts the same size? I want you to think about it. Look at the fractions in the question. Are the size of the parts the same? No. No, no they're not. Who can tell me what size parts? Raise a quiet hand if you can tell me what size are the different parts. There's two different sizes. What are the two sizes, Jaden? Um, tenths. Tenths and? Hundreds. hundredths. Can I just add the numerators on those two? No. Why can't I just add the numerator? Um, yeah, uh, Luna. They're different parts. The denominator shows that they're different sized parts. So can I find a way to add these two? Yes. Ethan, what should I do to? to add these two. Okay, so I can change the three tenths and we look down here and we see that they're already doing that. I can change tenths to hundredths. <coughs> I know how to do that. I shouldn't see pencils going. If I multiply ten times a number, I get a hundred. What number do I multiply it by class? Ten. So if I multiply the denominator by ten, I multiply the numerator by ten. By ten. So three times ten is? Thirty. Thirty. Okay. So now I have this three tenths is now thirty one hundredths. Can you see it? There we go. Okay. Can I now add thirty hundredths plus twenty one hundredths? Yes. Because the size of the parts are the same. So I can do 30 one hundredths plus 20 one hundredths, which is? 51 hundredths. 51 hundredths. Very good. So 51 hundredths of the mural is painted. Find four hundredths plus one tenth. Again, do they have the same denominator? No. 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 Which fraction do I need to change? One tenth. Just tell me. One tenth. One tenth. I can multiply 10 times what to get 100? 10. So if I multiply the denominator, I multiply the? Numerator. So 1 times 10 is? 100. So I have 10 hundredths. They've already put it down here for us. We also are adding the 4 hundredths. 4 hundredths plus 10 hundredths is? 14 hundredths. Sean lives 5 tenths mile from the store. The store is 25th, 25 hundredths of a mile from his grandmother's house. Sean is going to walk to the store and then to his grandmother's house. How far will he walk? We're going to change this first to fractions because we know how to add fractions and adding decimals aren't as simple as just adding those two numbers. There's a little bit of trick to it. So right now we're going to start with Changing them to fractions. What does five tenths change to as a fraction? Raise your hand. Owen. Five tenths like this, right? Yeah. And, oops, five tenths right here. 
<laughs> and what does 25 hundredths change to as a fraction? Lydia. 25 hundredths, like this. Okay. Can I add these two numbers? Not as they are. I'm going to go ahead and put them here because we are going to be adding them. 5 tenths and 25 hundredths. But we can't add those as they are. Why can't we add them like they are, Sophia? Because the denominator is they have different denominators, so the size of their parts are different. So now we're going to change one of the fractions. Which fraction are we going to change, Tara? Right, we're going to change the 5 tenths. We're going to multiply the numerator and denominator by what class? Ten. Both of them by 10. We already did the bottom one. 10, by ten. ten times 10 is 100. So 5 times 10 is? 15. And now I can add these two because they have the same denominator. This one is 50 hundredths, and this one is 25 hundredths which equals how many hundredths? Seventy-five hundredths. Seventy-five hundredths. Okay? Now I'm going to change this fraction back to a decimal. Okay? So seventy-five hundredths as a decimal, we know how to do. We've been working, oops, we've been working on that. So we know how to change that back. So Sean walked 75 hundredths of a mile. Let's try one that is 25 hundredths and, oh look it, they gave it to us in hundredths. So when I change this fraction, I can change it, when I change it to fractions, I can change it like this. 25 hundredths plus 40 hundredths. Just by reading it, I can see that that's what my fraction should be. 25 plus 40 is? 65 hundredths. Now when I change that back to a decimal, it's going to look like? There you go.